captain of the Syrian host. And the Bible says he was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. Next verse, please. And that the Syrian went out and so on and so forth, but there was a little maid. Everybody say divine connectors. A little maid that they captured from Israel, she waited and served Naaman's wife. Verse 3. And she said to her mistress, Would God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria? For he would recover from his leprosy. That is a destiny connector. I am not a prophet. I cannot heal you. But I know a prophet and I can connect you to him. Not everyone who comes to you has what it takes to directly help you. But they can be signposts to show you where help is waiting for you. Let's continue please. And one went in and told his Lord saying, Thus and thus saith the maid that is of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go, I will send a letter and so on and so forth. Next verse please. And he brought the letter to the king saying, that Naaman, this and that and that, I want to meet a prophet. Now, let's, let's continue. Just flip it through. The king was afraid because he said, you are now looking for trouble. You are bringing a letter so that you will come and fight us now. And when the prophet had it, Elisha said that let him come and know that there is a prophet. Although there was a prophet, a captain of a Syrian army was dying everybody who has what can help you is in nigeria is in lagos but between you and that person may be a destiny connector you can have products and services that someone is praying for and would patronize you in the millions but someone has to lend their voice to say i know somebody divine connectors the wine presser could not interpret dreams but he met a man in prison who could interpret dreams. And so he told the king, I remember my wrong. Oh king, hold your peace. I know a man in that pit. If you fetch that man out, he will interpret this dream. Divine connectors. They are very ordinary people, so it takes discernment to know their relevance. Because we live in a world where we are passionate about results. We want to see the personal. We want to see an aura that shows that help is imminent. But sometimes they may be very ordinary people. A slave girl. It takes humility to listen to a slave girl. It takes a lot of discernment to believe God will put your miracle in the hands of a slave girl. It makes a lot of sense to listen to a prophet. It makes a lot of sense to listen to a CEO. One day, the bike man that carries you or the cab man, he may look like an ordinary man, but you will hear him making a phone call. And in that phone call, he will say something that will answer your question for years. It takes discernment. One day, your little child who may be helpless may make a statement and say, Mommy, let's go to pastor for prayer. And the Holy Ghost will tell you, a baby did not speak. I just spoke. That you may die in this situation except you go and meet so and so man of God. We need divine connectors in our lives. Men who know those we need. Men who have access to those we need. There's no time to read on that story. You will understand that when Elisha did not even come out to meet Naaman. He said, tell him to go to the Jordan and to wash there seven times. Now, around those periods in, in history, now Bible history, Jordan would be really muddy and dirty. So it was not a nice, wonderful river that looked like a, a, a resort center. It was a place that you would be a madman to get into that water. And that's where they sent Naaman. And Naaman got offended. Naaman said, what sort of thing is this? Number one, this man did not even come out to honor me knowing that I came, I came with a delegation. I, I came with a lot of honor. What is all this one? Then number two, you now ask me to go and bath in a very insulting river. There are many other clean rivers. And the slave girl again comes and says, sir, 
sorry i know that i'm i'm a maid to your mother but if he had asked you to do certain things that were greater than this would you not do it and she encouraged him and the man went to bath in that river he dipped himself seven times he came out the seventh time and the bible says his flesh was like that of a little child destiny connectors destiny connectors oh you make this product this is very nice well i don't need it i don't have the money to patronize you but the other day i had my auntie saying they are looking for who can supply ten thousand pieces of this every day is it all right if i talk to her about you and that becomes your prayer point answered you must sustain discernment to see men for what they represent in the spirit the most precious things in our lives will not come in packages that are appealing it takes discernment to see divine connectors people who can connect you to your miracle our lives many of us sincerely speaking may have passed so many divine connectors so many of them in search for resources in search for lifting in search for breakthrough we have connected or disconnected ourselves from the people who can act as bridges it is my prayer this morning that god will give us the discernment the discernment i remember many years ago we had a crusade in a particular place in the north and when we got there we were wondering how we were going to do the publicity and you know how we would get the attention of the people and so on and so forth we were just starting and then a strange person comes to me and says sir let me tell you what you will do get a bus and then get a megaphone and let someone talk in the local dialect of the people go around the city doing that and that would be it I never got to see that person again to say thank you. It was a destiny connector. Hallelujah. You can be praying, oh God, change my life, give me a job. And then God brings someone to sit near you. He may be selling something you don't even like. Dried plantain, plantain chips. And just a shift in the bus. And while you are looking at him in anger, he will drop a flyer. And that flyer will be an advert for a job and you look at it and say well let me try my luck never knowing that your destiny is to be the director of that company whose flyer was just dropped in front of you you must sustain discernment to see people if they cannot help you they can connect you to somebody who can help you are we together number two let's hurry up this morning the second kind of destiny helpers are called men of access and influence men of access and influence these ones have the power they have the wherewithal to directly help you men whose voice men whose credibility men whose endorsement men whose resources can announce you they can use their influence to lift you they can use their credibility to lift you i never cease to be amazed how powerful men can be on earth there are people whose single signature can turn a man's life around completely you see the thing with destiny is that many times you will not have the access for your voice to be heard at the gates you will need someone who is already at the gate to not only speak for you but leverage his credibility for you to climb and to get there we need endorsement paul a man approved of god you need endorsement there is nobody that will become global without endorsement who speaks for you who speaks about you can change everyone's perception of you hallelujah praise the lord it is the reason why manufacturers of all kinds of clothes and all of that invest millions to allow celebrities endorse their products. 
there are many products that have nothing to do with football there are many products that have nothing to do with sports but they tie the psychology of their customers they connect their product to someone who has influence across a market space so that every time you remember that man you also remember their products we need men of influence someone has to speak for you someone has to close the mouth of evil when god wants to help you he will bring you to people who have the wherewithal the truth is that there are people who would just give you money like that let me tell you sincerely it is a prayer that god brings a man in your life who can give you money not borrow you just bless you like that if there is no one in your contacts today who can actually get up and just do a transfer and bless you no discussion no saying what do you need it for someone should be able to love you enough to commit resources not just ideas not just prayer money like that are we together yes men of influence and you know the church many times because sometimes we may not have gotten it very well in our theology we have we have deprived people of both desiring influence and desiring relationship with people of influence in an attempt to preserve godliness in an attempt to preserve morality we have told people to ignore men of influence and we have done that to our detriment i've said it again that there are men that you cannot cast out of your life even though they are cyruses they are not castable the only way you pass through that gate is to find favor with them not everyone can be prayed away there are people who the way you pass through their gate is that you obtain favor with them so when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even those kinds of enemies to be at peace with you because if pharaoh hates you even though you are godly you will be a slave provided pharaoh hates you you can have your covenant but you will still serve in the field you can't cast pharaoh away you can only pray that you will find favor are we together now and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon someone has to endorse you as a man of god if there is nobody who sustains the credibility to speak on your behalf there are circles you may never rise into you can know god you can have visions you can go to heaven and come back but you will never rise it takes a voice that can speak there are products today that rise not because they are the best it's just because of who recommended it praise the lord i had the opportunity to be at um, a governor's dedication and i was surprised the kind of people i saw in that church um, i knew that these people don't go to church they, they have no business being in church and those people were there dancing to the choruses i said ah, oh god influence 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 you know they don't know god they don't even know the song simple praise and worship songs that we sing every time they were just dancing around and enjoying themselves why because a man of influence came a new government was starting and if you don't represent if your presence which means your company which means your interest is not captured in that moment then you will pay for it it is powerful for someone of influence to like you you will rise for no reason who who likes you or who doesn't like you doesn't matter men of influence gatekeepers men of strange access i think i've shared it in this church years ago a gentleman wanted to go um he wanted to go to nda the nigerian defense academy in kaduna state and um his height the height requirement was not sufficient you know and they told him mr man you will not be able to make it and then he went to the emir then and the emir sent to tell the commandant that the emir has added the man's height (laughs) 
Say amen. amen. If a man can add another man's height, it was a message to the job of the commandant. In other words, Mr. Man, favor this young man's interest or leave that place immediately. There are people who will look at your products and say, let this be the brand. As far as this is concerned, one voice, one credibility, one endorsement, just like that, one signature, please attend to his matter. Let me attend to you. You're a man of influence. And I will go to your house. I will leave my crusade and go to your house. And he said, no, no, speak the word only. Jesus was on his way going to preach. Then he sees a wealthy man called Zacchaeus on a tree. And said, Zacchaeus, you are a man of influence. You paid this much price for me. Come down. Plan changed. I'm going to your house. Jesus, your Jesus, now deviates and goes to Zacchaeus' house. And because of that meeting, many people who would have gone to prison were set free. Immediately. Please don't ignore men of influence. Don't ignore men of influence. You have to pray them into your life. Pray them into your life. If there are four or five men of influence in your life, you could be the sixth. They will bring you to their circle. They will accredit you. And they will cause everything and everyone around you to hear you. Is God blessing us this morning? Very powerful men of influence. You need a voice that can speak over you. You need a, not a prophetic voice. Someone whose credibility has already been received within the sphere of influence that you seek to step into. Not everybody is a stranger to that sphere. Where you desire to get to, someone is already there and whose voice has been received. When that person endorses you and endorses what you represent, believe me, believe me, believe me, in one day, your entire life can change. In one day, your entire destiny can change. It's a real prayer this morning to ask the Lord, send me men of access. Send me men of influence. I cannot continue to pass Lagos every day, morning, afternoon, evening. I meet all these men and just wave their cars and wave their lives and insult them and say thieves all around. Lord, send me help. If your governor calls me today, I will go. You can say anything you want to say. You will see me in his office. Your Excellency, I came to greet you. I, I, I'm not necessarily there to look for money, but I will greet him. Greeting him, even if not for myself, greeting him can mean a job for several people. Greeting him can mean credit. It can even mean a court case settled for someone. I think he was a CNN host or a or BBC host, one of them. I don't watch so much of, of those things, but... Um, one of the days I was watching and she went to, she had the opportunity to talk with one of the, I think the presidents or prime ministers of a particular nation. And there was a lady who had been oppressed for many years. Um, I think she was, she was um, molested or something like that. And then she reported her manager and they jailed her for it. And this lady met with the president and asked and said if you were in this situation will you help this lady and he said yes i said so will you help this one now and the president was in a position there was nothing he could do and they released the, the woman now that's influence your prayer point has actually been answered it's just to arrive to your place and someone's influence can delay you the same way a man of influence will say because of me don't help this man the person who wants to help you is limited by his interest with the man who does not want to help you can you pray in one minute while you are seated lord send men of influence access to my life there has to be someone in lagos who knows someone there has to be someone who
whose track record can speak for me i can climb upon the track record of someone I believe in influence please pray my law firm is at the mercy of someone who is of influence my ministry is at the mercy of someone who is of influence the court case right now is at the mercy of a man or a woman of influence I've not been able to secure a property in Lagos I've been here 10 years 20 years I need a man of influence to speak there is some end allowance that should have come for me but i need someone of influence to talk to them at the federal level to release my monies i i i did a project and for many years my money is hanging i need someone of influence to speak for me i'm looking for a job for myself or i'm looking for a job for my sibling i need someone who is of influence my son or my daughter is in an industry that has a lot of tribalism and wickedness and religious sentiments i need someone of influence to protect the interest of my continuity hallelujah i prayed this prayer for myself for one whole month one whole month lord bring me before men of influence i don't want their resources i want their heart i can give you money and hate you but if i give you my heart you have everything do you believe what i shared this morning men of influence life will be hard without them it takes a long time to create a track record and there are too many spaces in life that require a track record before the gate is open your lifetime is too short to create all the track records by yourself you will need to leverage on the credibility of those who are already there no let me see the devil that will try to sack her from that walk you see that by god's grace the manager is my friend he's just to call him and tell him the issue then pray for him you see that i may not be able to do so much in the accounting but i can pray and boy it works you see that so that you can gain influence so because of you many people will eat because of you many people will rise and let me give you a little advice the purpose of influence is to secure your future that means when god makes you influential know that every level of influence has a lifespan what you do with influence is to raise as many people they are the ones who will keep you afloat and never go down that's why you see people today become a director of a federal parastata for 20 years no one ate because you rose up no one went to school because you went up no one got a job nobody got married because you were there and when they retire they retire back to their past because there was no voice to keep them there praise the lord there are people who will tell you i spent 20 years in the u.s 30 years here 40 years here this and that and those people cannot give you a bottle of minerals in old age it's a cause the purpose of influence is to lift men and bless them while using them to secure your future and that of your children there are names in this nation that are keys and there are names that are padlocks people have had to change their whole names the first name the middle name the last name they they just use encounters as a an excuse but the truth is they have discerned that something about this name will prohibit my growth some person did something that associated pain to a name jabez said oh god that wouldest bless me my mother bore me in sorrow and gave me a wicked name there are people today because of those they have lifted their children will always be prefects in school whether they perform well or not loyalty to that track record 
their children will always find somebody to marry it doesn't matter whether they have character or not for the sake of what happened their children will never beg for bread someone will arise and say whose son is this no the man may not be there but i will ensure that the child works young man you are not a very wise young man but for the sake of what your dad did i will still give you a job please hear what i'm saying these are the systems of life those who understand this continue to rise the moment god gives you influence refuse to focus on the deception the momentary deception that the applause of spotlight brings quickly lift people quickly lift people you are three years as a director let people rise let people rise and the day you want to go down they'll say not when we are here we will keep you there there are politicians today who will never go down because of this one key whether you like them or not they have lifted too many people to not be honored there are others who will go down even when god leaves them because there's no support structure is god giving us wisdom this morning so where you are you came to church this service you may need to look back while it's true we're talking about attracting men of influence i'm digressing to just encourage us now that you are a director now can you turn back show me who is rising because of you if there is nobody your future is in trouble your future will soon look like your past except for the person you raise there are music artists that rose up and forgot everybody and when their season of shining ended they went back to their past they're still there till today there are others who have stopped being productive as persons but those they have raised would keep them to be relevant there are men and women today that our fathers of faith have raised you know um yesterday we we're having a brief conversation with pastor and he he began to share with me his relationship with um our father here and i was touched the track record the things that have happened please let someone be able to eat because god lifted you let someone be able to go to school don't wait till you become a director you will never get there god will watch what you are doing now let someone be able to say god used you to lift me they are the ones that tomorrow when you stand and the gate does not open they will come with their key and say my hand could not reach the gate when i was young but now my hands are strong enough i can open the gate you see a lot of old women roaming around and you ask where are their children didn't they give birth there are people today because of what they have done in my life they will never go down as far as their lifetime is concerned you can change the future but you cannot change history and there are, there are many of us it's easy for god to favor us because the men he will use are, 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 are around us it's not difficult for him to speak to one person or another person or another person because you've lifted too many people he just needs to wake any one of them in the night and your life changes is god giving us wisdom this morning but back to my teaching men of influence we need to call them into our lives we need to call them into our lives we need to pray that god brings them i wish i had time i would have shared with you the protocol of greatness because no great man will come into your life at your terms you have to know how to relate with the life of the palace many people can relate with their colleagues but we cannot relate with the great the great have a protocol that keep them magnetic to you one of it is honor another is adaptation adaptation is proof of honor great people are very complicated it takes you having a high level of adaptability this dear man of god was sharing about the number the account and all of that and i just looked at him i said oh dear i'm sure this man let me tell you something i consider myself to be one of the most simple people it's just my life that makes it this way are we together 
my phone never goes off you see my phone beeping even when i'm praying because there are calls text messages from around the world that comes it never goes off someone now although he knows it's sunday morning he's still angry that i'm not replying him <laughs> are we together because of and it's not because the person is bad it's because of the reality of the emergency It's one of the reasons why I will not go to a resort center to rest because it's going to become a counseling place. Someone will see me as, ah, is it not a puzzle? You are swimming. Please, sir, I have a challenge as, as if I'm not a human being. You see that kind of thing. Greatness has a real price. There is a very real price. And if you are hot tempered and you want someone to give you a job at your terms, you will remain unemployed forever. You can wait in front of the office from morning till night. And the person is inside. Oh, one phone call. Five hours. What is he discussing? Can't he just sign this thing and let me go? And then you stay unemployed. There is a protocol of greatness. Is God giving us wisdom this morning? Oh no. Unbelievers know this. Politicians know this. A man's birthday will be January. But even by October, a company will still celebrate him because he was invited to just come and share five days. Okay, um, we could not celebrate your birthday by January, but here is a cake. Is it really about cake? Believe us, let's tell ourselves the truth. A man that has forgotten that he is so, so, so old, they will remind him, they will bring children to sing and wave all kinds of ribbons and the man is just smiling. And with that smile will come a contract worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars because a great man was appeased. If the influence of a man does not matter to you, then you will remain small. Don't sit and say, why are they behaving like they are big people? They are. They really are. It's not an insult. It's the truth. It's, it's the truth. You know, we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. hallelujah men of influence men of influence one man one conversation one endorsement and it turns your life around may God bring such men in our lives in the name of Jesus number three very quickly the third category of destiny helpers that we desperately need is gifted people gifted people these ones may not have influence. They may not be connectors, but they are exceptionally skilled. Their goal in your life is to create efficiency. Gifted people. You need sincere people, but you need gifted people. They are the ones that get the job done. If you have connectors and you have men of influence, you may still fail eventually. You need gifted people skillful and talented people they use their gifts they use their talents their skill to help you accomplish god's purpose first samuel chapter 16 please we'll read from verse 17 skilled people many companies today have great potentials but they don't have the favor of gifted people they have sincere people they will never steal anything from you but as far as productivity is concerned results will always be zero there are restaurants today that should be national brands even global brands very sincere people they pray by six they pray by 12 they round up by seven yet the company does not grow because every meal they produce has a problem no gifted people second samuel please read with me let's read it together one two read and saul said unto his servant provide now a man that can play well and this it is battle you are looking for he's still a man of war in case you want him to be part of your affairs he's prudent in matters and if you want someone who is diplomatic he's a comely person and he has a persona that is very receptive and then in addition if all you want is the ark of god the lord is with him 
no matter how you route it you will still need him can you be such a man i know that for many of us all that they will say is you went to school and you're a christian it's too small not for greatness it's it's wonderful to get the kind of job you don't want but if it is to serve with kings you will need skill versatility of advantages not just education your intelligence your knowledge your character are we together yes sir you need this kind of men in your life they are the ones that make things work there are churches today look at this wonderful i sat down and i just saw you know from the choir to pastor and all of that i said this is my message you need skilled people in your life you don't need someone that will embarrass and disgrace your company because you sent him to speak on your behalf he goes there as a christian he will pray and fast before going there but leave your company with a letter returned to you so we are grateful you will hear from us later that means you came and embarrassed us we don't know what you represent this young man just came and showed us character which is wonderful but at the end we don't know what you produce who are you and what do you do skill you need to pray for this kind of people i remember one a dear woman many years ago we had once used her like a, a little like campground we used it one time for a retreat during one of our crusades and she had this young boy she liked i think he was a relative and the guy was a building engineer and this guy continued to build nonsense for this woman the buildings were bent they were almost falling yet she would not leave him and i said this man is not going to last here very sincere man the woman had she prayed for a very wealthy couple who gave her i think then it was up to one billion as a seed because the the, um, the woman took in so this woman of god now used the money to just establish some prop then no you can imagine and then she brought this guy to change his life this guy continued to build nonsense continued to build nonsense i mean the buildings were a testament of his 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 um whatever you say you are right i don't want to be the one to say it but now you see let me tell you this many times god would delay our lifting because the expectation from our helpers we don't yet have it so sometimes god will suspend your arrival at the stable of greatness it is not delay it's him giving you room to prepare are we together saul is a king saul is not a farmer whoever must play for saul must play well whoever must cook for kings must cook well whoever must be a king's secretary must know what he's doing we must pray for skill ourselves and then we must pray that god will bring skillful people there are companies that go down because the one or two skillful people have to relocate abroad have you seen such kind of things and the company that was once a global brand usually in most corporations there are not more than five to ten people who are the pillars the rest are just supporting structures they know the management they all know these are the people who will never go out of job may god bring skillful people around us in the name of jesus christ may god bring skillful people people who will do a job in a way and manner that will turn your life around i mean if it is this you ask them deliver this they will deliver with a level of exceptional competence and the man can come and say look i am an allergy i don't favor christians i even hate them however i have noted that if i ignore you with respect to the international partners i will fail i may succeed in nigeria but i can't be global so because of that you will have to come and head a unit and you say sir while i head this unit i pray in tongues they pray your thing just make sure you are there let pharaoh seek for a man who is discreet and wise 
that he may set him above all his affairs and and he said for as much as there is no man who is as discreet and wise as thee immediately joseph was promoted man of skill and i pray that that man or woman of skill will be your child though so that you are connected together forever because if your child is the worst of all the people you are lifting it's not a blessing you must pray and then you pray to that that man of skill will also be you because if you continue to outsource you are still limited a day must come when you will have to be competent yourself is God speaking to us this morning please pray in one minute while you are seated Lord send me valuable people thank you for men of character thank you for godly people but at this phase of my company I need people of skill paying so much salary but not getting the returns for it bring skillful people my agency needs a skillful person lord i need a skillful secretary who will not drive away people from my corporation i need a skillful chef i need a skillful ministerial friend i need a skillful businessman i need someone who is truly skillful thank you jesus are we praying hallelujah when you pray this prayer and god answers it your life will change the gift of skillful people many of the songs you hear me sing these are the people who wrote them right here at my back yes skillful people very powerful this is my head of department worship he's the one who wrote the song you reign that you sing all the time Are we together? Skill. Ministry becomes easy when you don't just have people of character but people who can deliver. Sincerity is important but on its own it will not get the job done. You need results. And you need to coordinate people who can produce real results. Real results. Real results. Real results. Praise the Lord. Many of you would have noticed yesterday in the course of the, the Younger Yielded program, for those of you who are around, you would have noticed more people walking that were not part of the team. Because the system of leadership is that as a ministry, we're a family that is not bounded by geographic limitation. So many of our people who are in the protocol, ushering and the rest, anywhere we find ourselves, the job continues. So that's what happened yesterday. A number of our protocol people who are in Lagos here got their formation immediately and work continued. The protocol people work continued. Skillful people. Let me tell you sincerely. Let me tell you sincerely. If you have a business here, please go to God and pray. You don't need many people. Most of the leakages in our finances at a corporate level is because of our search for the few skillful people. So you will continue to pay five people for something one person who is truly skillful can do. Rather than paying 10 people 50, 50,000, I'd rather pay one person four or 500,000 who would deliver for me the result of 10 people. They looked at Saul. They said, Saul killed 1,000, but David killed 10,000. CEO, who would you employ of the two? A man brings 1,000% returns. Another man comes in and brings 10,000% returns. I was having a conversation with someone who told me that one of the top leaders in one of the banks, you know, that now no longer existing, was absorbed into another bank. And he gave the director six months, the manager. He said, give me six months. I will turn this and this in your bank around. 
and within one month he started producing a fearful result skill can be repeated results can be replicated again and again and again and again praise the lord that god will bring skillful people to your life number four and then we pray for this morning service have we been blessed so far the last kind of destiny helpers that we need to rise in life they are called burden bearers burden bearers so we have divine connectors we have men of access and influence we have gifted people then we have burden bearers please look up if you can these are trusted and faithful people who will stay with you through the storms who will stay with you through challenges until your glory is revealed burden bearers these are men and women who may not necessarily be skillful they may not necessarily know those who are influential they may not necessarily be influential themselves but these are stayers they will stay with you in the prison they will be there with you in shame they will stay with you they, you can be sure that if there is a shoulder to lean on you can tell them every secret about your life the good the bad and the ugly and that their dishonor towards you will not change you will need such men in your life because in destiny storms will come in destiny the devil will try to attack you in destiny many things will happen around your life and if all the people you have are those who only celebrate your glory you will do well provided you remain there but the day you will have to go to the cross even the disciples can run away the 5,000 people who wanted to make you king can run away there are few people you must know and have Ruth chapter 1 please we'll read from verse 15 and 16 Ruth chapter 1 burden bearers and she said this is Naomi speaking to Ruth behold thy sister-in-law is gone I hope you understand the story this was a story that two women lost their their husbands are we together now and now one just left well to your tent oh ye israel my husband is dead let me go and look for another husband and then ruth will remain with naomi and naomi was telling ruth now behold thy sister-in-law is gone back to her people unto her gods return thou after your sister in, -law. in other words just go and leave me i'm a woman of great sorrow my sons are already dead and i i don't have any good for you again it was marriage that brought us together and now that there's no basis for it please go and ruth said hallelujah may god bring this kind of people to your life entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee for whither thou goest i will go and whither thou lodgest i will lodge thy people shall be my people and thy god These are the kind of people that even if the company foils you ask them what are you still doing here they say it was never about the company it was about you you say look i have to be fair on you just go and get another job and they say mommy daddy don't waste your time i'm not going anywhere we will die here if god does not lift you then let me remain a failure forever you say i hope your head is correct say no i'm a burden bearer it is painful that during your dark times there is nobody to be a real shoulder please hear me if you plan to rise in life especially for we the young people listen to this it is one big secret the generation of our parents have that we do not have our parents have real burden bearers there are people who can stand by you and tell you you are my friend what happened my child died if your child died my own child too died i'm with you there is no food to eat no food to eat my account is your account i give you my atm the house rent i'm about to be embarrassed 
not when I'm alive. I'm here. My son got another lady pregnant out of wedlock. Let's go and see the family together. No, no, no. This will be too much embarrassment. Let's go. If you are not ashamed, I will not be ashamed. We will cry together. There is a legal case against me. I'm on my way to the prison. Let's go together. They will have to jail us together. Let me tell you, not everybody is selfish. There are truly selfless people who will die with you. They are called burden bearers. Mark chapter 15, please. We'll read from verse 20 and 21. This is the passion of the Christ. And when they mocked him, Jesus now, they took off the purple from him and put on his own clothes on him and led him out to crucify him. There are times that Jesus will even die. Yet he will die not for his sins, for the sins of the world. There are times the CEO will go through so much turmoil. Not because you did something wrong. Listen to me. There are times we go through storms because of what we have done right. Not because of what we have done wrong. And they compel one Simon of Cyrene. Who passed by. Coming out of the country. The father of Alexander and Rufus. Help me. To bear his cross. Jesus would never arrive Golgotha. He was bleeding to death already. No strength. And a man came, Simon of Cyrene, and carried the cross. Jesus, I may not carry the sin, but I can carry the cross. There are people like that. I may not be able to take the pain of the bereavement, it's not my child. But I can help you go through this storm. It is painful to go through storms in life and be left alone. Unfortunately, this is the kind of world that we live in. Where people will applaud you in the days of honor. But let the company fold. Downsize people. Let the federal government publish your name as having an issue. As having some, let, let there be something that can bring shame and reproach. And you will be surprised at those you call friends. You will be surprised at those you call allies. Let me tell you this. When you find a burden bearer in your life, pay any price to preserve them. It was Benny Hinn years ago who was speaking with Marilyn Hickney. Many of you would know her. In her 80s now, a great healing evangelist. And they were discussing the subject of relationships as it relates to selflessness. And then Marilyn Hickney, Benny Hinn said Marilyn Hickney told him 20 years before that time that if he ever found five people who were like those I just described, that he would be the luckiest man on earth. And Benny Hinn laughed at her and said, what? No, I have a ministry with great people. Until he had the divorce issue. I can say it now because they are back to the glory of God. One morning, Benihin is preparing to go for a crusade. And here comes the people with papers from the court. Demanding for a divorce from his wife. The news reverberates the world. Imagine a Benihin. An inspiration to people. Half of his partners. Half of the partners left. And I hope you know his evangelistic meetings are very capital intensive. Half of the partners. There were certain churches and people. I know this for a fact. Especially around Europe. That wanted to invite him. They cancelled the invitation immediately. Because they said bringing you now will cause a national problem. Because you have an issue that is a scandal and we're sorry we can't receive you. Many of the friends of that dear man of God. Many who had been healed by his ministry many who called him their father they left him they left him the best of men ben Hinn was left alone but there were few people and marilyn hickney came again and she said benny don't worry i'm still here with you and they were cracking jokes and laughing up and down and she was part of the few people who prophesied to him that the lord revealed to her 
that he will come back with his wife and ben he now told her he said i remember what you said that if i could find five of these people i were a lucky person you need the gift of good people you need the gift of people who you can cry your heart to and say you may see me smiling now but i don't know where this rent will come from and you will never hear it anywhere never they will cry with you they will pray with you in the secret and in the open they will say oh god please take away shame and reproach from this person if you find such people please hear me pay any price humble yourself roll on the floor if you have to preserve that relationship because they are burden bearers on your way to the cross you may lose so much although you are the savior but at this time you will need a helper burden bearers and treat me not to leave you i will be with you your god will be my god let me tell you this one of the greatest gifts in my life in terms of relationships is this that i just told you the gift of burden bearers you see these people who work with me i know they are humans but sincerely many of them can die for me it's true i'm not pretending it i love them with all my heart sincerely but i can tell you the sacrifices what these people can go through for me you bring a gun to kill me they will not think about it they will stand and receive the bullets that if there is no such person in your life then you are in trouble thank god for those who will be with you at the throne the 24 elders did not come to help jesus get to the cross the four living creatures although they bow down they bow down to a king not one on his way to the cross who will not bow down to a king we are looking for who can bow down to pick the cross certain men came to david in the cave of adulam although they saw a runaway man running from saul they would have said shame on you and you want us to be your king they came and bound themselves with a vow we are free you are bound you are in hiding we are exposed yet you must be king over us these are the systems of the kingdom show me a man who has a destiny connector show me a man who has access to the heart of a man and a woman of influence show me a man who has the loyalty of gifted people show me a man who has the allegiance of burden bearers i show you a man who satan cannot do anything against i show you a man whose growth will never end i show you a man whose life will be as easy as anything this is why we came to church this morning some of you have some of this some of you may not have any of this it's time to pray affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you. Sing one more time. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. For the last time now, affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Please hold hands with someone, whoever you can find by your left and right. This is first a prayer for the precious members of this great assembly and then for all of us who are represented here and for many who are following online 
you are going to pray everything grows because of relationships we are saved today because of a relationship we rise because of relationships we were born because of a relationship it was your relationship with your lecturer that made you educated it is your relationship with your mother father siblings that create a family there is no life without relationship the bible starts with a family ends with a family while you are holding the hand of that person in one minute i'd like you to imagine that that were one of the four people sent to you anointed commissioned raised blessed are you if that person is your wife and blessed are you if that person is your husband blessed are you if that person is your business partner blessed are you if that person is your best friend blessed are you if that person is your colleague some of you while you are standing although you are holding the hands of others with respect to these four people you are standing alone there is nobody in your life today who is a divine connector there is nobody in your life today sincerely who is a man of influence you are aware that there are men of influence but you've not captured the heart of one for some of us we've not been given the mercy and the gift of access to gifted people and greatest of all some of you we do not have people in our lives today who will be there for us they will call you king when you give them bread but they will curse you when it is the cross you are carrying you will need people who will call you king at the throne and on the cross they will still say you are my king lift your voice in one minute and pray for the person whose hands you are holding this brother and this sister came to church this morning with a prayer point but God is telling you your prayer point is actually a request send me a divine connector oh God send me a man of influence a man with credibility and access send me a gifted person like David like Jonathan send me a true body bearer hallelujah praise the Lord now before I pray over us in closing we are going to mention these people one by one and pray them into our lives is that all right first we are going to pray for divine connectors think of many doors that have refused to open think of doors you passed and did not know they were those doors because no one told you you are going to pray and say lord send people to show me where to go send people my way oh god they may not be men of influence they can tell me where the anointing i need is they can tell me which ministry to go to they can tell me some of you you were told to come to church this morning the person who asked you to come for this morning service is your divine connector you would have been at home sleeping or somewhere else being blessed but not this way he said we have not seen it in this fashion Is someone praying from the depth of your heart divine connectors I'm tired of this level oh God I'm tired of paying for everything by myself I may not know the way to the city but send me someone who can show me someone who knows the way to the city There has to be someone 
who knows my destiny helper there has to be someone who knows my lifter there has to be someone who knows my promoter where is my little slave girl who will take me to the prophet where is my Simon of Cyrene who will help me to the cross where is my good Samaritan who will help me heal from the pain of robbers where is my Ruth who will not leave me like a fugitive is someone praying this morning you came to church the house of God is where lives are changed hallelujah hallelujah number two you're going to cry that God will bring men of influence please I want you to pray this from the depth of your heart I submit to you that one man of influence in Lagos Lagos is a place of of plenty we who are not domiciled within this area we can see the advantage that you have why should you be in lagos for heaven's sake and from monday till friday to another monday to friday a whole year a whole decade nobody of influence can have you at heart they don't come on their own they are called in prayer please open your mouth and call them call them there are thousands of companies in this city there are thousands of ministries in this city there are thousands of organizations thousands of opportunities oh god of heaven send me a man send me a woman whose credibility has been vetted you're a music minister pray send me by your grace oh god to a platform of influence that will announce what i represent you're a businessman lord send me send me send me men and women that my appearing in their cycle will change the world's perception of me hallelujah praise the lord we are still praying many of us snap with men of influence but we are not connected just because you have a photo with a man of influence does not mean the transaction has happened genuine connection genuine connection when the devil says go down he will use his influence and say remain up remain up when they say you are too short his influence will add to your height when they say you are not qualified he says i add my cv to his own give him a job he can't buy that property is 500 million and all he has is 50 million and say i bring my human capital keep the land for him hmm. he may not have the money but I bring myself as a collateral and I keep it. Let that property remain there till he has the money to buy it. Credibility. Number three, we are going to pray for gifted people. Lord, bring me people of skill to make my work move forward. Bring me people of skill to make results predictable. Bring me people of skill to bring consistency to my results. Please pray. Consistency. Consistency. Sustainability of quality through competence. Hallelujah. Finally, for the four sets of people, I want you to pray this one. A friend is made for adversity. You're going to pray. Lord, where are the people? You are the one who knows the heart of men. 
if i judge by my eyes i will call wrong people right and right people wrong by your spirit bring people who can die with me bring people who will stand by me bring people who can cover for my shame bring people who will cry with me bring people who put my crown and my cross means the same thing to them bring people whose love and loyalty will not change please pray pray it for your company pray it for this precious church pray it for new heritage baptist church father continue to send people continue to send people to this assembly men and women who will stand with and by this church and stand for this church at all times consistent always unbending reliable that when it's time to raise funds they will raise when it's time to bring skill they will bring when it's time to cry they will cry when it's time to eat they will eat together when it's time to fast they will fast together bring such men to my life pray for your homes pray for your homes many of us have so many people in our homes but how many of these people are the ones i just described many of us have many teachers in our schools many workers and staff in our companies lord i don't just need staff i don't just need workers not just loyal people burden bearers burden bearers burden bearers people who will not say one thing in your presence and another behind you sincere and genuine people hallelujah let me just add one more prayer point for us all of us here represent families most families are shattered because these kinds of people are not there when things go down for the father everything can change the children become something else father i'm not proud of you shame on you till now we don't have a house and on their way they go mother i'm, I'm proud you had just one child and could not have another families are broken when you do not have burden bearers listen let me tell you and you are as you pray you will pray for yourself too that i will be a burden bearer because there are many of us the fortitude the ability to stay with people when things are unfavorable we we are averse to pain the more you will betray anybody when you find an alternative no we have to be people of strength you have to find a cause you are loyal to that is worth your death not your life let's pray for our families lord keep our families strong let the bond be unbendable regardless of results let the bond be strong i believe in family please pray for every family your extended family your family here lord that i will love my wife genuinely lord that i will love my husband genuinely has nothing to do with what is provided for or not that i will love my children genuinely has nothing to do with their performance in school that i will love my parents genuinely has nothing to do with their ability to to provide or protect as desired unconditional love and loyalty that is not dependent on result let me be a burden bearer lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace walls of pride and prejudice 
shall cease. When we are your instruments of peace. One of my life's goal as a person, not a man of God, I've prayed and cried before God. I want to be a shoulder that can hold people. Not just a preacher. I want to be a destiny helper to a generation. More than fame. More than resources. Or some of these mundane things. That someone will be able to say, I was on my way going down. But apostle came and helped me. It has nothing to have prayed for burden bearers to come. But are you one? Can you man? to be one of these four things for today there has to be somebody it could be a call I just placed a call since you lost your loved one I'm sorry I've not been able to call how is everything now and while they are crying on phone you tell them just to encourage you weeping endures for a night but joy comes with the morning you are a burden bearer some of you by the spirit may need to just support someone who you used to support and you've forgotten how is this person faring let me just give him 5,000 today. Young man, are you still in school? Come to my house. Take this. Take a tear of Gary. Go back to school and read. Living is truly worthwhile only when your life is being poured out as a drink offering to be a blessing to others. Father, we pray that this teaching this morning will turn our lives into signs and wonders. Bring to our lives, oh God, destiny help us. Help us to understand the excellency of advantageous connections. Bring divine connectors to our lives. Bring men and women of influence to our lives. Bring gifted people to our lives. And oh God, more importantly, especially at the times we live in, bring genuine burden bearers to our lives. In the name of Jesus, I minister the peace of God right now to everyone here who may be hurting. And you may believe that your life is at its lowest point. Things are not working, no results, no door opening in spite of your Christian work. I declare to you that by the reason of this teaching the grace that will attract destiny help us even beginning from Sunday today may that grace rest upon you by the ministry of destiny help us we call every project that has refused to move forward and to be completed we call it completed now in the name of Jesus by the ministry of destiny help us we call everyone in need of a job that in the name of Jesus between now and the next 90 days may you return with strange testimonies by the ministry of destiny help us let all debt and all bills that are sitting upon families and will not allow them rest may God raise just one person to override those bills By reason of a destiny helper may the doors that have refused to open sometimes even for decades may one person of influence open those doors for you and I pray finally may you be all these to someone may you be a divine connector to someone may you be a man or a woman of influence to someone May you be a gift to someone. And may you be a burden bearer to someone. In the name of Jesus Christ. New Heritage Baptist Church, may the Lord bless you. We pray as all the people who you have invested in and blessed, that God will keep this church afloat. You will continue to go from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. In the name of Jesus that by the next time we will meet this church will be 10 times better let the least in this church be like David in the name of Jesus Christ 
we call every member of this church Beulah and Hephzibah the delight of the Lord in the name of Jesus one more time thank you so so much may the Lord bless you in Jesus name